Yo, what's up guys? My name is Liquid and this is a full video on how to lower your input delay on PC and on console. Let's get into it. So for the next one, open the Epic Games Launcher, click on settings and then turn off minimize the system tray. And what this does, it takes it out of your taskbar. So when you close Epic Games Launcher, it actually closes and doesn't run in the background. So the second thing you're going to want to do is click on the Windows button, then type in Graphics Settings. And you're going to want to click on the first option and say Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. And it does exactly what it says right there. It reduces latency and improves performance. You're going to have to restart your PC after this. Now for the next tip, go into Settings and go to 3D Resolution. And I keep mine at 95%. So what this means is it only shows 95%. No, it only loads in. 95% of the pixels on your game meaning that it'll run smoother rather than if it were to load 100% of the pixels on your game you could put it at 95 I put it at 95 because I'm a content creator so I want the images to look kind of sharp but say you're a competitive player you don't really care about how it looks you just want to win the game right so you could put it at 88 85 even uh, I believe people there's some people who play at 80 percent if you want your game to run smoother but 95 percent I would say is the best 95 to 90 is the best for content creation and now on to the next PC tip you need to use performance mode if unless you have a monster PC then I would really recommend everyone to be using performance mode it just makes your game feel so much more smoother and cleaner and responsive trust me on this and for the last PC only tip, shout out to Kosh on YT for this one. That's K-H-O-S-H, shout out to him for this last tip. So what you wanna do, on your keyboard, click on Control, Shift, and Escape. And after doing that, click on More Details. Then click Details again. After that, scroll down until you find the three Fortnites and then you click on the one in the middle, right click it, and then click on Set Affinity. And from here, you want to uncheck CPU zero and then click OK. And the reasoning why you do this is because Fortnite is a very CPU heavy game and it has an affinity to load most of the processing power onto the first core. So by unchecking that, it makes it so that it spreads it out through all the cores that you have on your PC. Now onto the console side. That's right. I didn't forget about y'all. So for console, what you want to do is turn off motion blur and turn off the new high res textures so the next pc and console tip right here would be to have a switch mode slash edit to a random bind right you see this is my actual edit bind right here but then switch mode slash edit keeping it on an open bind that you don't use it just makes your edit speed quicker and this is only for controller players try it try the difference trust me it works so another thing guys would be to use skins with less animations and effects for less input delays. You can see here, my wraps are non-animated, pickaxe, regular, glider, regular glider, and my skin has no animations on it. And this gives you the least amount of input delay possible. Now on to the last tip of this video, and that would be to turn off all kinds of replays. Turn off record replays in general, record large team replays, and record creative mode replays turn all of those off because what that does is it says what it does you don't want a game you don't want the game recording in the background while you're playing the game that will just add more of an input lag into your gameplay so the best thing to do would be to have all of these off and there we go guys that's the end of this video if i have missed anything if you think that i should have added something else please let me know down below i'll link all my socials again thanks for watching peace